Well, I came up here to see what was going on with the weather. Fortunately, my garden got completely flooded out in a storm, and so did my rooftop. Uh, holy crap. I'm going to have to figure out a way to get over and unclog the drain. Oh my. Yeah. Wow. And what, really, what, what really sucks is I had a bunch of my seedlings right where this drainage was. So all of this pressure. Oh, that's the drainage you were talking about? Yeah, just wiped out everything I was growing. And on top of that, all the, the birds and whatnot just attacked the crap out of, uh, out of all the seed beds I had growing. Alright, might as well hit pause. We're gonna be here. Don't worry, it's water for the big one up. Alright. <laughs> and there's still a lot up here. That's coming down. Good video. I wanna do a bit more of an update on garden bed. Unfortunately, this is was at one point a very flourishing bed of wheat grass, but I have this nice little hanging pot. Well, honestly, it's supposed to be for the kitchen, and it's only supposed to be for hanging like spice racks kind of stuff, so I hung it outside. And this is where I've been uh, starting all my seedlings, but unfortunately some animals got into it and basically took all of the seeds out of my seed cups after we've just been attacked by a really bad storm all of the rainwater basically flooded down onto here i had the uh, some of my sproutlings down here there you can see one of the cups and pretty much everything got flooded out so i've brought everything into the kitchen and hopefully we can salvage uh well, wheatgrass is growing great but i've already lost the strawberries raspberries perennials carrots quite a bit so let's go inside the kitchen and see what we got left if you originally remember, I had some sprouted seeds in here, which are supposed to be uh, perennials and based off of the pH level of the soil, should determine what the, uh, the color of the petals were going to be, but they didn't take, unfortunately. Now, the wheatgrass is growing fine. That's very, very easy. Just some very soft soil or enriched soil grows like nothing, but unfortunately it also attracts all the uh, the wildlife like the birds and the squirrels, which is all the damage done to my outside uh, seed bed, which is where these guys came from. This this damage was done by my own animals, Ninja and Nibble, Chinchilla and the Rabbit, which is what I'm going to do, or I should say that's those are the ones I'm growing it for. The Arrow Garden not doing so great as expected. I have been tending to it, but it's just not getting the, uh, the nutrients that it really needs because it's supposed to, I assume, recycle the, the nutrients in the aquaponics of, of the water onto the, 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 the plants. It's just not getting the nutrients it needs or the sun. Now, I did start some, uh, some raspberries on 5-3. It's been about two weeks and they still haven't sprouted. I got a couple of small little sprouts coming back up. Um, these guys are not showing much yet. We've got some baby breath over here and uh, I got a clipping of that uh, hydrania I think it's called that I have outside I'm basically trying to uh, see if I can reestablish growing a come on you a root ball system I'm gonna have to add some more water to that soon but you can see it's it's actually starting to try to regrow in there um, I know it's it's you're better off using more of a runner plant rather than you know a perennial with a root ball system but meh I'm just mucking around but unfortunately, I've lost my first batch of strawberries, first batch of first batch of strawberries, first batch of raspberries, uh, first batch of carrots, and a massive batch of wheatgrass. So right now, all I'm really left with is regrowing this wheatgrass, continuing growing the baby's breath, the raspberries, 
continue intending to the Arrow Garden tea kit, as well as growing wheatgrass. Now I do have uh, cherry seeds, strawberry seeds, and blueberry seeds that still need to be planted, but after being flooded out twice and our current results, I think I'm going to tone down my ambitions just a little bit for a little while.